Hey, Way City Kids and all of our friends online, I'm Mr. James. And I'm Miss Danielle. We sure did miss you all last week. Yeah, we did. We've been so busy working on our virtual vacation Bible school. If you all are interested in joining us this summer, make sure you and your families click the link down below for more information. Great idea. Anyway, I have to go catch up with Freddie. I haven't seen him in a while. I hope he's okay. See you later. Bye. You got that right. Well, let me get cleaned up and help you air this place out. Let's listen to a story about three friends who had a major encounter with fire. Check this out. Ugh. Let's introduce the main characters in our story. This is Shadrach, Misha, and Abednego. Hi. The king's name was Nebuchadnezzar. And then there's sea cats, Chaldeans, and other such characters. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold, whose height was 98 feet tall and 9 feet wide. He set it up in the province of Babylon. King Nebuchadnezzar sent word to gather together all the officials of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O peoples, nations, and languages, was a big problem for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They knew God commanded them never to bow down or worship idols. They believed their God was the one true God, the creator of all things, and he was the only one deserving worship. But they had to choose between doing as the king said or the penalty, which was being thrown into a fiery furnace. So the time came for the dedication. whom you have sent over the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Misha, and Ben. These men, O king, have not paid attention to your decree. They do not serve your gods, nor do they worship the gold image that you have set up. Hmm. Bring me Shadrach, Misha, and Ben. Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the gold image that I have set up? Now, if you are ready at the time you hear the sound of the music to fall down and worship the image that I have made, then good. But if you do not, you shall be immediately cast into the midst of the burning fire furnace. The burning fire furnace. The burning fire furnace. And what God will be able to deliver you from my hands? Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we had no need to answer you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, then God, we can deliver us. And he will deliver us from your hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know your majesty. And we will not serve your God. <laughs> Worship the gold image that you have set up. Heat the furnace up seven times hotter than usual. Tie them up and cast them into the burning furnace.
Did we not cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? It is true, O king. Look, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire. And the fourth looks like a son of God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out and come here. Not even a hair is singed, and they don't even smell like smoke. Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. They trusted in him and they defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives, or rather serve or worship any other god except their own god. Therefore, I decree the people of any nation or language who says anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, for no other god can say it in this way. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Wow! What an amazing story! It's incredible to see how in the face of death, those three men stood firm in their faith. Yeah, I can imagine that it must have been super scary to stand up for their faith amidst the culture where everyone is doing the opposite. But you know what? God was with them and he promises that he'll be with us. You're right! That reminds me of Joshua 1.9. If you guys remember, then let's say it together. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That's right, Freddie. God is with us. And because of that, there is no challenge that we can't stand up against. Amen to that, Mr. James. Thanks for sharing that amazing story. But uh, I should probably finish cleaning this up. Hee <laughs> hee. Good idea, Freddie. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Wow, what an incredible story. The fire had no power over Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because their God was bigger and stronger than any situation that they could face. And when God is with us, who can be against us? Yes, God is able to protect us and keep us no matter the situation we're in. These guys did what was right and left the rest to God. They knew that it was more important to obey God rather than men. And they were willing to risk their own lives in order to be faithful and true to God. And the best part is, they knew God was powerful enough to save them, but they said even if he doesn't, we will still do what's right. Yes, they said God can save us and God will save us, but even if he doesn't, we will not bow down and worship your idol. God has the power to save us, just like he did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But even if that wasn't part of God's plan, and those three guys were burned in the fire, God would still be with them and would deliver them safely home to be with him and would work that out in his bigger, eternal plan. They knew this, and that's how they were able to trust God and stand firm in their faith. They knew that regardless of how the situation ended, God could be trusted and was in control. You know, the same is true for us. Remember that this week. Let's pray. Dear God, we know that you are a faithful God and that you can protect us no matter the situation, Lord. So help us to be faithful in the face of any obstacle we love you, Lord. We thank you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We hope you guys will trust God this week and remember how mighty and big our God is. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.